So this is what I'm talking about with the pace here, when you beat a player. See? That pacing is different. Now the catch-up is still there, like with Martinez, he's keeping track with me, but he's not taking me out. And then I just do a little touch, little flick, little trick. We are going to play a match with the new snow, as you can see here. It's not quite a blizzard, but it's just spitting down, is what I would say, right? We're in the Allianz Arena, and we're going to go straight in. Now, we are going to play out wide. Um, we're going to change the jerseys as well, because I don't want there to be an issue with the jerseys that we'll be able to see them. This is the new game screen. All the transfers are still old. That will change with the live update. These tactics are the same, but they've, they've changed how the players react. So we're actually going to try possession game in this one. And then we're going to do a video on each one and see not just how the team set up, but how the AI set up and how the game plan goes with it as well. So as you can see there, there's the players. I mean, the movement of the players looks way f more fluid. It looks really nice in those screens, lads, the way that they're knocking the ball around there. So if you're playing possession, it's all about movement. It's all about movement. And we are playing on Superstar as well. And we're just playing with the default team, the default setup. Everything is default for Bayern here. And just to throw the ball around. But it definitely feels like it's more realistic and more smooth. While still having a couple of things that I need fixed. Like the burst of the player's speed is definitely better. My first impressions of it in the snow. But let me know what you think of the snow as well. They finally added snow. But the big test for this game is going to come online. What a ball! Oof, that was nice. And they've also made it with the, with, the, with the dribbling. The tight dribbling. Look at that like. The tight dribbling is way tighter. It's way more focused. Yeah, Lucas. The defending feels a lot more manual. It's still not where I want it to be. But it is nicer. So a lot, of, a lot of the thing as well is that like when you... The catch up is still there. But you can see there with Coleman. I just cooked Shaw there. And it's all about just stop starts. That's, that's what the acceleration is going to be about. There, you just couldn't do that in eFootball 2023 with the way the game was balanced. There was no pace there to the players. So now when you get away from a player, you can kind of burn him. But that, that to me is the biggest difference, is these little, these, little dribble, these little dribbles. Look, it's very, very, very fast twitch-based dribbling. Look, I get the ball first touch and then all of this is just left stick dribbling that's all no tricks beat one player Varane comes out little left foot beat him and then I just run out road and then if you want to go tighter again you hold R1 like that you just tap it see what I mean like that dribbling is definitely way more improved is instead of having just pure raw speed, like obviously Mbappe, Rashford, Leao, any of the really, really super fast players, like over 95, they're able to cook you for pace, but the rest of the players that are just average speed, what a finish. The rest of the players that are just average um, speed, it seems to be more about like stop, start, acceleration that gets rewarded. So not straight line dribbling. Because if you don't think that, I have a chocolate teapot to sell to you. So this is what I'm talking about with the pace, right? It's more about changing direction and bursting past, see? Leaving Shaw for dead there. Turning in again, bursting past. That's where the pace has been tweaked, I think. Don't like that 180 pass, though. It's not as bad as it was, but it is still bad. So this is what I'm talking about with the pace here, when you beat a player. See? That pacing is different. Now, the catch-up is still there, like with Martinez. He's keeping track with me, but he's not taking me out. And then I just do a little touch, little flick, little trick, and that's nearly a goal. So, I mean, regardless of whether you feel about the game or you whether you like the game or anybody that's played the game like for a long period of time, right? Whether you like the game or not, that is different. Like, that build-up of play there is different. The pace, the dribbling... Martinez catch, keeping track with me, but not being able to catch me. Little R1 touch flick. When you get in here with the, like, with the, with the better angle here, you've got the dribble. 
I'm going running at full blast. Martinez is keeping up with me, but he's just a little bit behind me. Little R1 flick in here. Martinez doesn't have the control. He tries to tackle. Lovely little flick in here. And I'm gone. And then once I get back in here, <clears throat> I've got two guys chasing me. They're not catching up with me. In eFootball 2023, I would have been caught by Martinez and I would have been caught by Christian Eriksen right around here. Little uh, Ronaldo Chop takes two out, passes it in, and then the defensive AI helps him with the roll. So I don't roll, and there's Varane. It's better, man. It looks better. And one big thing for me as well that I'm going to be interested to see what like top class players think is the responsiveness for the auto cancel. People that don't use super cancel um, don't realize how important that is. Like it's massively important because it means that you can reset your animations. I haven't seen the freezing. I haven't seen the freezing as much. I thought I saw it earlier, but I haven't seen it as much. I haven't really noticed it. The My League is going to be... Yeah, I have to see what My League is going to become. Because I know that they will be talking about it in the trailer. Well, Super Cancel is the ultimate skill gap. That's what Super Cancel is. Jante says, eFootball is dead. Yet here you are, my brother. Yet here you are. Super Cancel is, is R1 and R2. So that was in snow, lads. That was in snow. So I hope you guys enjoyed that gameplay. Let me know what you think about the snow. Let me know about what you think about other things going on with the game as well. And we'll get another gameplay going as well there in rain.